The Ugandan government issued a final tender to the company controlled by Total Energies to construct a 3.5 billion oil pipeline through to Tanzania. This final approval will provide a way forward to the construction of the pipeline that will be used to transport the country's crude to the international market. Here are the details of this and other stories making headlines across Africa. Uganda's cabinet is allowing the construction of the pipeline by the East African Crude Oil Pipeline Company Limited. The pipeline project, which includes drilling in Murchison Falls, has run into strong opposition from activists and environmentalists that say it threatens the region's fragile ecosystem and the livelihoods of tens of thousands of people. The project aims to extract the huge crude reserves under Lake Albert and ship the oil through what would become the world's longest heated pipeline. Uganda's president, Yoweri Museveni, has vowed to proceed with the project regardless of the EU resolution, warning the government to look for other partners. Elsewhere, it has been nearly a year since European leaders and their African counterparts converged in Brussels for a summit billed as the beginning of a renewed partnership between the two continents. The summit proposed to invest in Africa $25 billion annually over the next seven years, offer 450 million COVID vaccines and over $300 spent on energy and infrastructure. Finally, the Democratic Republic of Congo has selected tenders to operate three gas blocks in Lake Kivu. This is the first major step for the DRC. Many companies have expressed interest in the gas blocks of Lake Kivu. Regarding oil exploitation, the DRC government assures that it will ensure respect for the environment. act of corruption will be tolerated. It also warns on the catastrophic consequences they could have on the biodiversity and the climates.